Huge thanks to Intel for letting us come down and film the new Devil's Canyon CPUs a month before public launch. It was a great day and all possible thanks to Intel. Check out the Amazon link for any of the products we talk about in this video in the description down below. Hey guys, so we're at the Intel Bloggers event. I'm here with Andrew, uh, representative of Gigabyte, and we're going to be talking about some of their gaming lineup of motherboards for the new Intel's Devil Canyon CPUs. So, as you can see here, we have an i5 system running the uh, Gigabyte Gaming 7 motherboard. Uh, do you want to just take us through some of the key specifications of this motherboard and just some of the other motherboards in your Z79 yeah, lineup? Yeah, sure. Well, um, first of all, I'll talk about what we do at Gigabyte with our boards. So, we have um, three range or main ranges of boards at the moment. So, that's our ultra durable range, which is top to bottom for desktops, um, from high-end performance desktops all the way down to low-end PC desktops. We also have the new gaming range, which I'll go into detail in a minute, and we also have the OC Force, the super overclock range as well, which uh, are our orange motherboards, uh, and they're designed specifically for high-end overclocking uh, and pushing the components as far as they could possibly go. So over to the Gaming 7 board that we've got here. So as you can see, this is our latest um, gaming range of motherboards. So um, we started to go with the black and red theme for our new boards. Very, very popular uh, in the gaming arena. Um, this board here is actually the Gaming 7, and it's based on the new Z97 Intel uh, chipset. So the CPU we've got running in here at the moment is the Intel i5-4670, uh, I believe. Um, and at the moment, as you can see just here, that's actually been overclocked to uh, 4.8 by um, this lovely man here. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, fiddling with it before we started the interview. So you can see that the system's running through at the moment. These new K-series Devil Canyon CPUs are specifically designed so that they can be overclocked via the multiplier, which is exactly what's been done. Um, and 4.8 actually on the i5 one is very, very good, considering that the standard speed for that CPU is 3.5, uh, and the standard uh, speed for the i7 uh, 47... Uh, New four, four gig it's four point, yeah, it's four gig and then turbos to four point four. Yeah. So on the motherboard itself, we've got um, two key uh, features. Obviously, the fact that you've got this highlighted um, area that I'm assuming breaks away the audio chips there from um, the rest of the board. So you get, you know, gaming class audio. Obviously, it's this gaming board. People are going to be looking for good depth of sound in their games and things like that. Um, so that's obviously a key feature on their gaming lineup. Yeah. We've also added in the uh, killer network chip as well by Bigfoot. So that basically means from a networking point of view, you get the very best speeds, really, really low pings, um, and just helps basically uh, improve the gaming experience when you're using one of the gigabyte motherboards. So, and the last sort of main feature of these motherboards, the Z97 lineup, is you've got SATA Express, so you know, that's the That's correct, yeah. Control. So what happened was, obviously, with the previous um, SATA, and the SATA that's on this board, um, so this board comes with standard serial ATA3 ports and serial ATA Express. Uh, the way the Serial ATA Express works is it's basically plumbed directly into the PCI Express lanes. What that means is is that with the standard Serial ATA3 connections that are on there, uh, like with all of the previous generation motherboards, you get a data transfer rate of uh, 6 gigabits per second. With the new Serial ATA Express, what you're getting is, is because now it's plugged directly into the PCI Express bandwidth, you're getting to use that, which means that you're getting 10 gigabits a second. So the last thing I want to talk about about this motherboard, obviously they've got their more sort of enthusiast overclocking range of motherboards, but this one does still have sort of a load of the main features when it comes towards overclocking. You've got your voltage checkpoints there, so you can manually check your voltage just, um, um, yourself instead of going into the BIOS, and it's more accurate. You've got your dip switches that I'm presuming for the uh, PCI lanes. Uh, no, those dip switches are actually for the dual BIOS. It's something okay. that um, is quite unique to Gigabyte. What we do is, is we include two BIOS chips on all of our boards, so you've got a dual BIOS. What that means is if you're updating the BIOS and your system crashes because there's a power cut or anything along those lines, normally what would that would do would completely kill that board so you wouldn't be able to use it. With these, you can basically just switch over to the next BIOS. You can then repair the older BIOS and make sure that that's now installed properly and you can go back to that if you want but it just means that you get an extra level of durability yeah. on all of our products right and another you've got two more buttons you've got a hard reset button so you know if anything goes wrong you can just press your hard reset button you've got a CMOS reset button so if you mess around with any of the bar settings and you need to revert back you can just hit that and it will just go back to the default you've got a power button which is obviously great when you're on a test bench like this you can just um, smack the power button instead of having to short the two pins together 
Um, yeah, and you've got your uh, read out there, so if anything goes wrong when you're setting up the motherboard for the first time, you can look at that error code, refer to your manual, and you'll find out exactly the problem that you have, which is excellent when you're setting up a system for the first time. All right, guys, thank you very much to Andrew from Gigabyte for sort of talking us through all these motherboards and telling us some of the key main features. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you dislike the video, hit the dislike button. Make sure you leave a comment for any of our Intel footage that we've um, created and tell us what you thought. As for everything, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Once again, a huge thanks to Intel for letting us come down and play with our awesome new Devil's Canyon CPU lineup. Just a quick shout out to Asus and Gigabyte who helped out as well with our awesome new motherboards. We'll be working very closely with Asus, Intel and Gigabyte to bring you guys the best possible coverage of not only Devil's Canyon and Z97, but also loads more future releases, so stay tuned. Click on some of the videos on screen to see some of our brilliant Intel Bloggers Day coverage.